What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and another beginner's tutorial. Today we're going to talk about your stats. Uh, we're going to talk about hero damage stats. We're going to talk about uh, building stats. We're going to go over all the stats today. And first off, we'll start off on the hero side of things. So I've got my lovely little Huntress here. And let's open up the stat sheet. Now first off, we'll see uh, the Huntress has the armor stat all the way over to the left. Uh, the hero's base resistance to damage taken. Uh, your hero health stat. Now each hero does scale differently, differently off of hero health. However, if you want to have a higher pool of HP, the hero health stat is where it's at. Next we have hero damage. Uh, what this stat is referring to is your primary and secondary attacks. So your regular old uh, left click or your right trigger and left trigger abilities on the console, this will be what scales these numbers up. So if you're a person that likes to do the shoot and not necessarily the abilities, the hero damage stat is what you're going to be looking for. Next up, we have the ability power stat. Uh, of course, the ability power stat affects your abilities, your hero's ability strength scaler, which this means is using any of your actual abilities. So like on the Huntress, the concussive shot, uh, the lovely little oil, or of course, the flamey bird. All of these are going to scale based off of that ability power stat. Now, taking this into consideration, basically when you build your hero and when you're looking for gear, you want to decide how you want to play the hero. If you want to primarily be a primary attack and secondary attack user, and then just casually use abilities, you're going to want to go hero damage and hero crit. Now, if you're somebody who uses the primary abilities, but you want your main focus to be all of those main abilities and not the uh, primary attacks themselves, then you're going to be wanting to look for items that have ability power and hero crit. Now when you get into the higher chaos tiers, hero health is required. Anything from chaos 5 on, you're going to want to want hero health on every piece. But like on my Huntress here, hero damage, hero crit, and hero health as these three stats are the main stats I'm looking for for that left click damage. Now on that same note, if you mix and match your gear like I did here, where I've got the gloves here with hero damage, hero crit, and hero health, and then these boots with ability power, hero health, and hero crit, I'm actually not maximizing either. So I'm doing a little bit better on my primary attacks, and I'm doing a little bit better on my abilities, However, I'm not reaching the peak potential on either one. So particularly from Chaos 5 on, you will want to make that choice whether you want to use hero damage or if you want to use ability power. And it's all based off of just your play style and how you want to play the game. Uh, one is not better than the other. Uh, they can both be effective and they can both get you to the victory screen. And that, of course, is what's more the most thing, important thing. Now, I did briefly mention hero crit damage. I'm going to go ahead and talk about that now. Uh, first off, all heroes start with a base crit chance of 10%. You can earn another 20% through your ascension tree. Plus, there's a lovely little shard on the gloves, the critical strike shard, and that will get you another 10%. That is where my 40% crit chance came from. Now, the gun witch does start off with slightly higher crit. However, the rest of the heroes all start off based off of 10%. Now this means of course that every attack there's a 40% chance it's going to be a critical hit. The modifier that decides how much crit damage is done is the hero crit stat. Uh, hero crit is a very important aspect of the game and you're going to want, to want hero crit on all of your pieces. So the ideal pieces will either be hero damage, hero crit for a primary attack user or ability power hero crit for an ability user. Now, once again, Hero Crit does 
apply to both abilities and your primary and secondary attacks. So always, always pay attention to that hero crit damage number. Now, moving right on along, we've got the defensive side. And let's switch over to the Squire. Now, if we take a look at this cannonball, we've got all four defensive stats on it. We've got defense power, defense speed, defense crit, and defense health. Uh, defense speed, of course, is going to determine how fast the, the defense attacks. Defense health is going to determine how much HP that particular defense has. Now, once again, it boils down to the defense power and defense crit damage. When we look at those cannonballs, and we take a look at the tooltip here, where it says attack damage, uh, where it has 229,000, that number is being created by my defense power stat. So the more defense power, the more that irregular attack damage is going to be. Now the critical damage, you see 1.24 million, this is determined from my defense critical damage stat. The higher the defense crit damage stat is, the more that number is going to be, and it scales differently with different defenses. Now one thing it is important to note is that the crit damage on a defense is a fixed number. There is no range. If it crits, it's going to add 1.24 million damage to that attack. So on a regular attack from the cannonball, it's going to do 229,000. On a critical hit, it's going to do that 229,000 plus the 1.24 million. So let's take a look at the cannon in action here. And you see just multiple crits back to back. There's that 229k uh, for the normal hit. Come on, crits, where you at? Got to be a crit in there somewhere, right? There's one. And then 1.47 for the critical hit. So that's the 1.24 plus the 229. And that's giving us that critical hit total right there. Now, it is very important as crit chance does not mean, you know, say like on my cannons, I have a 30% chance to crit. That does not mean that every 100 shots, it's going to crit 30 times. What that means is each individual hit has a 30% chance to crit. So sometimes it's going to be above 30%. Sometimes it's going to be below 30%. It's just the nature of probability and how it works. But just remember, it does not mean that straight up every 100 attacks, 30 of them is going to crit. So hopefully this helps answer some questions on hero stats and how to spec your hero. And it is 100% just based off of your play style. If you want to uh, stay at ranged on your Huntress and just focus on that left click or uh, right trigger ability, by all means do so. However, if you want to be using the abilities themselves, you can do that as well, just with a few different pieces of gear. So that will do it for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe. If anyone else has any more questions regarding uh, the hero stats in Dungeon Defenders 2, by all means let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get them all answered. So thanks again, we'll see you next time.